Alright guys, so we have finally, finally rescued our uncle from the con. You know, Kotakan! <laughs> Whatever his name is. And we also got betrayed by our supposedly best friend, Ryuzo, or Ryozo, whatever his name is. Um, so, yes, we're continuing this journey. I'm about to go talk to the Unk, hear what he has to say. We already know he doesn't approve of all that he's been hearing. He's like, no way, you're not talking about my nephew. You know, I've tried to stay as honorable as possible. Um... So I also I also want to see if this game is just going to progress in the very same um, way, no matter what you do, because, you know, I it's just recently I really started to kind of indulge in the, the assassination because I've always just ran into battle because I felt like I could do it and it just feel the combat just feels better that way like in a game like this where the combat is just so good just facing multiple opponents face to face and the challenge of it all it just feels so underwhelming when i'm doing the assassinations but i do them every now and then you know not many so certain missions it just requires you to do it so i do it you know but if i'm out there in the wilderness you know, very rarely you're going to see me do that because I just love the challenge of five, six, seven guys there for me to cut down. So I'm always looking for that opportunity to do that. I'd rather face an opponent straight up than actually sneak and try to, you know, stab him in the back. So I want to see if the same narrative continues throughout the game where the uncle is going to be, you know what I'm saying? This whole thing about honor in the game. I can see it playing out that way like I can practically see the ending of this story with the uncle not approving of who Jin is becoming which is the ghost the the, the you know what I'm saying like the whole thing with Yuna now calling him the ghost and spreading the tale and this folklore about him being this un unorthodox um, samurai you know what I'm saying and so I'm really glad to see that the story is kind of progressing in a certain way where you can clearly see that. I like that about it, but, um, you know, based on your choices in the game, it should change the narrative a bit. But I don't know, maybe, I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen. But as I said, from what I can see, it's not necessarily your choices that are going to make the outcome the outcome. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, from how I'm playing the game and seeing how the story is progressing and the things that are progressing, uh, me as a, as a person who have told stories in the past and stuff like that, you know, and have written certain things and, and stuff like that, um, and, and from what I've learned through all those experiences and seeing people write scripts and watching movies and TV shows and all this other stuff, there's only so much that can fool you. You get what I'm saying in a story that you can say, okay, this is how this is going to play out, especially in a game where it's not based on choices. It's not a telltale game. You know what I'm saying? Like what I'm playing The Walking Dead. It's not like that. It's more you just do stuff and, you know, there's a story. So as I said, I see, that's how I see it kind of playing out. Um but it's yet to be seen. So we're going to go talk to our uncle right now. So let's jump over there, guys. For, th for those of you guys that really watch uh, my view, I know I don't get a ton of views on these videos. But whoever is that, you guys that are out there, I really do appreciate it. Don't think that I'm going to stop doing it just because I don't get high views. I'm still going to finish this game because I want to finish it. I enjoy it so much. But anyways, we're going to jump into some more Ghost of Tsushima. Let's get it. All right, let's get it. Baby girl, what's good? Do you still want to leave Tsushima? There's nothing left for me. Why are we running around in circles, man? I could use your help in the fight ahead. Let's go, you know. You don't need me. I need I thought I was following you. Luck 
Oh. Ow. <laughs> she just left me there like. Alright, let's hear what Unk has to say. You look well. We will defeat the Khan and the coward Buzo. Mount their heads on the battlements of my castle. But I can't do this without you. You have me. I heard of your exploits. Ah, shit. Of course you did. Your methods were brutal. Repulsive. Without honor. Oh, God. I did what I had to. You damn right you. we did. I know, Jin. And I will be forever in your debt. But you can't continue down this path. All of Tsushima looks to us for guidance. We must save our home together. As samurai. What about Yuna? You know, it's one thing I have to stop to comment on for a little bit. It's one thing that I really realize about the cinematics in this game. Even though I know these are pre-rendered um, sequences. If you notice that it's one little subtle thing that I really notice about these pre-rendered sequence is the eye movement. You don't really see much of that when you watch a lot of cinematics for games. You don't see a lot of eye movement. And it's if you really watch someone when they're having a conversation and you're in front of them and looking in their eyes, these are the kind of eye movements that you would normally see. You get what I'm saying? That you just see the shifting of the eyes. And I'm glad that it's just a little small little touch. You know what I'm saying? That I know this about the game. All she wants in return is safe passage to the mainland. I will grant it when the seas are clear. It looks very and natural. It helps me retake my castle. Thank you, Uncle. He's asking. Yes, Lord Shimura. Okay, so Anki's back. You don't really like what I've been doing, but... I should check on the others. We out here, you know what I'm saying? Where's um, Masako and them? Let me play a little something with you. gotta sync up man what is this y'all need a beat let me give you a beat <laughs> damn Jim just stop what Jim stop in the middle of my beatboxing what's going on with that man Jin was Jin said nah bruh <laughs> that ain't it <laughs> Sakai, you fought well yesterday. Your bow made that easier, Sensei. Any news on your fallen student? I heard rumors of a Japanese archer helping the Mongols in Nakashima. It has to be Tomoe. I'm heading to a camp for survivors near the coast. I may know more. I will find you there, Sensei. You have my word. Jin out here helping everybody. My sword yet. I'm still trying to get. Oh man, I spent the steel. What did I spend it on? You don't have what we need to do the work. I spent steel, man. I needed 40 steel. Oh, I have the iron now. I used the steel on something. I don't remember what it is. Okay, where is. Where is Masako? Where is she? Who are you? 
<laughs> How he is sitting. I don't see Lady Masako. Okay. This guy is here. How are the defenses coming? Uh, slow. But they'll pick up once we get the forge going. <laughs> Good work, both of you. Anything to help, Lord Sakai? Masako dipped out already, I guess? Jin. Oh, there she go. Lady Masako. Any news on your family's killers? My hunt continues. I've tracked several of the names to Toyotama. You won't have to find them alone. But when the time comes to retake the Lord Shimura's castle, can I count on your sword? I'll be there. And we will destroy our enemies together. Got some allies. Okay, stable? Where is the stable at? What did your uncle say? A lot. <laughs> Lord Shimura will grant you passage to the mainland after you help us retake his castle. Oh, this isn't my fight, Jin. This is everyone's fight. Prove your worth to Lord Shimura, and he will reward you. I promise. Lord Sakai, it's time. Typical samurai. Squeezing people for everything they're worth. Damn. I have some tough words. Be right for Toyotama, Lord Sakai. Freaking dude is stuck. You serious? <laughs> Is out, but the Mongols don't know about the old forest path. This way, Uncle. I'm sorry I didn't free you sooner. You have nothing to apologize for, Jin. I've seen what Mongols do to our people. I can't imagine what you went through. <laughs> it takes more than a bloated Mongol warlord to break my spirit. He learned our language, kept you alive. What is he after? He wanted me to aid his conquest of our mainland. Offered me wealth, power, wives. He thought you'd turn against your own people? For that insult alone, I will kill him. <laughs> Tell me about this woman who saved your life. Yuna is brave, loyal, and good in a fight. Ishikawa said she's a thief. She can be a little rough, but she has a good heart. Take care where you place your faith. You are friends with Yuzo, too. The battles ahead will be difficult. I need to know I can rely on my people. You have my full support. And Yunus. Long ago, chaos ruled this island. I know this dude is not Lord over here comparing me or comparing Yuna to Ryuzo. Our people that honorable samurai still fight for this land. It's time you return home and reclaim the armor of Clan Sakai. Okay. It's been empty since my father died. The past cannot hurt you, Jin. You say that, but you out here. Trying to tell me I ain't got no honor. Do you smell that? Burning wood and bodies. Damn. Who getting burnt? We raided farms to the south. Never like this. This is the Khan's revenge for my escape. We must save any farm left standing. Without them. Damn. I'll see it done. Mongol patrol ahead! Run them down! Run them down! Yeah, you are out here by yourself.
thank you. You know, I'm gonna give you a pass because you haven't been in a fight a very long time. But you took way too long to kill one dude, my guy. To, I know you're not out here bossing me around after I rescued you. Where my horse at? That's not my horse, bro. My horse is not brown or whatever color that is. Where my horse at? Is that him over there? What kind of hat? Oh, there we go. Where are you going? Faster, okay. The Mongols have taken our lighthouse. We will relight the flame, show the Khan we're coming for him. And give our people hope. We must find our lighthouses and rekindle every last one. That man just shot me off the horse. got me. Guys are armored up, bro. Nice double team. I like it. What is this guy doing? My bad. <laughs> I get used back to this. <laughs> yeah, this mission is not a joke. It's a lot of them. I gotta start using um some of those. Oh. 
I can still see you. Oh, that's Shimura. I know. Shut up. Why are you telling me this? I'm not doing that. I play how I want to play. I was really trying to dodge that just now. again <laughs> okay let let's let's do this like a boss would man like, oh my god just fucking god bro. Yeah, I get these archers because they're freaking annoying camera angles bro Like you caught a blade just now, my guy. <laughs> you know what she doing here? A 
power bands right behind me. They have explosives. We can use that against them. Ready your bow. to fight for our cause? I need to get off this island. So does Taka. We're not finished yet. To the lighthouse. We'll rekindle its flame. Show the Mongols our victory at Castle Kaneda was only the beginning. And tell the Khan we're coming for him. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm glad you came, you know. You were an effective distraction. A pleasure to serve, my lord. We need more warriors like you following us into battle. We may have trouble finding them, unless you broaden your horizons. That linen arrows. We have business in the lighthouse. Speak your mind, then leave us free. Yarikawa has plenty of warriors, but their walls haven't fallen. I put down the Yarikawa rebellion. Its people have no love for me. I know. I grew up there. Is that where you learn to steal? You know, has great This nigga don't action. have no chill, bro. You can convince her people to fight under your banner. Very well. Help Lord Sakai raid this army. You will be on the first transport to the mainland. With my brother. Wait for me in Old Yarikawa. Thank you, Jit. <laughs> you just looking at this dude like, man, you ain't nothing but a dude. <laughs> You're just another dude, Lord Shimmery. Acting so high and mighty. sees this he will we will take back your castle uncle and destroy the mongols as honorable a samurai return home and claim your father's honor recruit the peasants of yarikawa i will petition the shogun for reinforcements how we get a message to the mainland Savory friends of my own. A pirate named Goro in Omugi Cove owes me a debt. If he's alive, I'll find him. Bring him to me at our old hunting camp. We will meet again soon. Until then, travel safely. I cannot lose you again. My lord, we freed a Mongol prisoner here. A warrior monk. He wants to speak with you. A warrior monk? I'll find him. Lord 
Sakai, my thanks to you and your companions. Where do you serve? See the temple. Our warrior monks rode south to fight the Mongols after we heard about Komoda. But our journey ended here. I'm sorry. What happened? We were ambushed, taken captive, shoved into a covered pit. No food. So dark I couldn't see my hands in front of my face. I think they took Jovan out first. We heard him struggling and shouting. And then the shouts turned to screams. I could smell burning. But we refused to submit. There were only three of us left when they took my brother, Enjo. Enjo? Guardian? I'm sorry, he's gone. He was a great warrior. An even better brother. What's your name? Morio, my lord. This is where they held us. That hole barely fits six men. I promised it holds double that. Walk with me, Norio. I want to show you something. You rode from Toyotama. What was it like? Kushi Temple was spared, as were the healers of Akashima. I hear the pirate's nest of Umugi Cove still stands. Let's stop here. There must be thousands of invaders. Now that Lord Shimura is free, he can lead us to victory. I hope you'll join our fight. The monks of Cedar Temple can help. They're all within a day's ride. Support them, and we'll sweep the Mongols back into the ocean. We will avenge your brother, Norio. All the monks who died here. I don't seek revenge, but I will fight for peace. to Akashima village to support our healers. If we're going to fight back, we need their skills. I can introduce you to Hochi. My brother always said he's the greatest healer of us all. Then I'll see you again in Akashima. Let's see what the new map looks like. Oh, we got a lot to do, boys. What's this? They took back some of the places? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There was a fox then that I was doing. Wanna go do that real quick? have some more Mongol territory I can use for for practice
What is this guy doing? What? He didn't catch fire! Gotten a little tougher. game is just it's just one of those games man get you so immersed into the world you know charm of inari's might I wonder what that charm does. So off offense charm increases health and melee damage by a minor amount, and it can go in a minor slot too. Oh, okay. There's a couple of these. Okay. Our damage. All these are really good. 50% <laughs> of resolve. Okay, let's change this. Nice might. Okay, let's switch that out. Cute, so cute. Let's go see what these Mongol territories are about. Uh, they just set up a bunch of camps. Rescue the hostages. Kill enemies with kunais. Do I have any kunais? I got five. Okay, so this is gonna be one of those.
Okay, I really tried that. Gotta go get that, dude. enemy where's the enemy I've never been so thankful. You're safe now. There's a rest. Damn it. <laughs> Took too long to get over there. No. Other guy. Hostage. Oh, I said I died last time.
beast. The, the slowest people ever. Supplies matter. <laughs> oh my god. A key. Oh. Where is where is it? Kosaku's armor. Okay. Where is Gosaku's armor? Alright, so I think we're gonna end this session here. Let's not let it go for too long. The 45 minutes, I think we did. Uh, one of the main missions, so we're in the second act of the game, I think. Now. So, yeah. Thank you guys. Really? <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Appreciate y'all, man. Thanks for coming through. Uh, Mr. Shimura, Lord Shimura, does not approve of our ways, okay? He wants us to stay honorable. And I don't know how we're going to do that throughout the game. There's so many situations, different situations. They got to approach it different, you know, so you don't... Sometimes, I love being in a fight, but at the same time, sometimes the mission kind of forces you to do certain things sometimes so you know it is what it is unless you like playing out here in the open world a certain missions forces you to assassinate people so we'll see how it goes anyways thank you guys so much appreciate y'all this was a short one but we'll be back for the next episodes of course peace out see you guys next time <laughs> Oh, no, Tokyo.